Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Today we're doing day number 35 on our 100 day crafting challenge. And I have to let you know something. I went a little nuts at the Dollar Tree, okay? <laughs> I was like, I've got to have some stuff to do some stuff with. And I needed a bunch of blanks and such. Well, that's a good place to get it, right? <laughs> I mean, really. It's, uh, you know, economical, we'll say. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this off the desk and show you some of the stuff that I got that we're going to be doing crafting projects with. It's still paper crafting. It's just a whole lot of stuff. And some of it's for storage, uh, organizing, and stuff like that. So there's that. Okay, let me move some of this because, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. It's a lot. Okay, move that out of the way. Let's see, that one's kind of out of the way. This one I'll show you first because it's just stuff that I got to organize my craft room with, okay? It's really simple. I got a bunch of these. They're the same thing. Um, they hopefully won't blind you. But they have these compartments. They're big compartments in there. And you put this lid on. And you can see what's in, that was my big thing. I wanted to be able to see what was in there. Okay, I got four of those. And I got this doohickey here. Because, you know, I'm always looking for my pencil and I can't find it and such. So that's going to get all on my desk. And my pencil will go in there and some other things, I'm sure. Okay. These I got for little things that, you know, little things. They've got lids on them. Let me open this package up. I'll show you one of them. And... You know, as crafters, we craft with some really small little things. So this, I can see what's in there. And it'll be contained, you know, so that it's not running away everywhere, okay? Then I got these ones. I like the it's clear. You know, you've got your compartments. And these don't move around, which I kind of like. Because <laughs> the ones that move around, you, yes, it's nice that you can adjust them and stuff. But, eh. You know, they move around on their own, too. So, that's not good. And I got a little dinky one of the Matte Mod Podge. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And we'll move on to the next one. I got those containers, too. <laughs> they're, um, <clears throat> they're very nice. These, um, these big containers, they're clear and see-through. You can see what's in them, right? I had a friend go with me. Uh, they drove. I rode. You know, it's that kind of thing. So, I got one of these. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but maybe. I'm going to put it together and see. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Paintbrushes or whatever else we want to craft with, right? Yeah, it was $1.25. Little rotary cutter. I'm going to give that a try. And look at this. Gobs of little colored, you know, we do paper clips a lot, <laughs> right? So, let me put this somewhere. Out of the way. Okay, this is just tissue paper. I do, I use tissue paper when I do, you know, like when I fill orders and such like that. Okay, out of the way. Um, we found these books. They're hardcover. I don't know what that's doing. Hardcover books. I don't care what the book is. I'm just using it for the book. Look, $1.25, you cannot buy a book board for that price period. So this book is going to be gutted and used for journal cover. Of course, it's pretty as it is. You can put a little bit of something on there and be really good. Just cover the spine. So my friend says, okay, there's, there's, uh, do you want this one? I go, yes, I want that one. How many are there? There's three. How many do you want? All of them. <laughs> so yeah, that was the conversation. Yes. Give me all of them. Okay, and I got these ones there. Let me take them out of the, if I can. Uh, they're little canvases. You know how I am about some wall art. Um, if I can open it up. I just got all the same kind because it's going to be covered anyway. So it didn't matter to me. These little canvases. 
we can cover that. If I can get this over. We can cover this canvas with whatever we want to cover it with, or we can take it completely off and do something different with it. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things with this. You never know what I'm going to do. It's a thing. Okay, I'm going to put this tub away, and I'll show you the next one. Sorry to leave you hanging, but it takes a while in a wheelchair to do things. So, okay, so I got a bunch of these little blanks and things. These are going to be so fun. This is a little, has a little stand on it. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. I can show you. This has a little stand on it, and it's completely white here, but you know we're going to cover that anyways. So, yeah, just... And I got two of everything because I need to work out a prototype and then, you know, um, yeah, it's just a cutting board. <laughs> My friend says, that's small. I go, no, it's just the right size to do something in, in the camera view because you only have so much space anyways, right? So two of these little chalkboards and um, they have a hanger. I don't know. I'm going to do something with them. And now we come to the... Little house, you know how I'm about the doll houses, you know. Just saying. <laughs> uh, got a couple of those. A couple of these. Now I know that the Dollar Tree has different things in different places. So get what you can find and come craft along with me on these things. Little blanks of this and that. are gonna They're going to be fun. And <laughs> we're going to have some really cutesy things. You can give things as gifts. You can give things as... Or you can keep them for yourself. Whatever you want to do. Little stacked trays. Little wooden trays. Now, this may include some painting. <laughs> All right. Maybe a little bit of sanding. It's a little rough there. But we're going to do some paper crafting and different. It's going to be awesome. I promise. Okay. And we've got, like I said, I've got two of each thing. These are really awesome little. They're just. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe almost chipboard, <laughs> almost, and this is screwed in, so we can take that out, um, and recover this completely, and then put it back in, right, so, <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple of these, because that's handy, to have little things in there that you're going to use for a project or whatever, and also, if you're not going to use them for you, you can absolutely make them as a gift for somebody i mean you wouldn't want to give this uh the way it is because <clears throat> no but you can make it awesome you can even put some little legs on it little wooden beads would be great you know all kinds of stuff my my brain exploded that's why i went nuts in there <clears throat> hold on a minute i gotta go put this over yonder okay I've got one more. <laughs> I got four of these tubs, and every one of them was full to the brim of stuff. Um, yep. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set this to the side, and then I'll pull out the things that... Look, I got some of these for organizing. Um, they got little compartments. Really cute. And there's a lot of little things you can put in there. I At least I have a lot of little things I can put in there. And you can see, that's my whole thing. I need to see it, right? Then I don't forget I have it. Because that's a thing. So I got a couple of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we've got some little chalkboards. I don't know for sure that I would use it as a chalkboard. This might not work so well as a chalkboard. But it sure would work well as a, a little piece to sit on your table or mantle or whatever with something really pretty and decorative on it to match up with a journal you're making, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. I got a couple of those because, like I said, I'm doing... I got two of just about everything, I think, because I want to do a prototype and then a, a show you how. Craft a long thing, right? So these... I hope this doesn't glare too much. I'll try to keep it at an angle or something. I got a... They're gift boxes. Um, I thought we could, you know, do some magic on these. They're three in a pack. So you get, mm, um, you get some good, good deals with that. Uh, it's only a dollar twenty-five, right? Three. And of course, they're not going to look like this when we're done with them, you know. 
that one's really sparkly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I got some little <clears throat> clothes pins. Uh, I thought they were cute. I'm going to put them on something. I mean, you know, wouldn't that be cute as something to put on here and you can put little notes in it? And I mean, come on. That's cute, right? Okay, I've got those. Let's see what else is in this tub. I got me some of these big pegs because clips because, you know, I think they'll... I'll let you know. If they don't work good, I'll tell you. Then I have these little notepads. You can make all kinds of things with notepads. Some more of those. String, because, yeah... <laughs> We do string a lot. We string things up. Okay, and I got these little minis because they're cute size. And when you, there's three in a pack. So $1.25, that's not bad. Um, And of course, they're not going to look like this when we're done with them. They're going to be pretty. So let me put those back away. I'll show you what else. All right. Now I got, I got two of these. We've seen these before. They're old school things, right? This is going to be awesomely beautiful when we get done with it. This is going to be our first craft along for this Dollar Tree haul. The reason it's going to be the first one is there was some... There was... Ugh, there was some of this in, the, um, in my order. And I'm trying not to... It's a puzzle saver, a laminator kind of thing that you put over something to keep it sealed. Well, yeah, that's great. I was going to give it a try and see if it worked, you know. Well, it might. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to see. But my first try was sort of it accidentally spilled out in the um, uh, bag onto here. Why they didn't bag that all on its own? blows my mind but okay this is uh this tells me that it's it i tried to get it off it won't come off so it is really a permanent thing <laughs> okay it's a little lumpy bumpy here where it kind of pulled up i guess but it's also shiny okay so that tells me that i got a few ideas on what to do with it but what i'm gonna do with this is cover it <laughs> Um, for this one, I'm going to put some flannel over it, flannel, felt over it, and then put my cover over it. So, if you want to do this craft along with me, which is going to be the next part of this video, um, you'll need a little bit of uh, felt or something like felt. Ooh, it's shiny. I told you it's shiny. Um, and some fabric and whatever decorative papers you want to use. There's loads. I mean loads on my um website uh old freebies that are in the just the plain old freebie section not the monthly section um if you want to use that because on the inside now look you can take this out and put your own papers in that's fine i'm going to leave it this way because i'm thinking about um giving it as a gift for somebody to have as a little notebook so i'm going to cover the inside front and the inside back with decorative papers after it gets covered. So, I mean, you guys have seen me make like journal covers before doing this kind of thing. That's what we're gonna do with these. Dollar twenty-five. It's got gobs of paper. I don't know how many sheets, but it's got a lot. So it will be a really pretty little notebook. Oh, it's got a hundred sheets. <laughs> so, uh, two hundred pages. So you can't really beat that, right? A dollar twenty-five. Okay, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to get some stuff together, and we're going to come back and, you know, do stuff. All right? <laughs> okay, this was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think I showed you everything. If I didn't, it'll it'll come up in another video. <laughs> I don't know. But we're going to go forward from here. Just hang on a sec. Okay, we're back. We're working on... Day 35, just as a reminder. Put that aside. Um, <laughs> this is our first craft along from the Dollar Tree uh, haul that I just showed you. Well, I just showed you to you. It's been a little while for me. I took one of the <laughs> I took one of the um, notebooks. I turned this into this. Really pretty. 
it's covered with fabric. I had this just laying around, you know, not doing nothing. And so I, I thought, well, it's time to use it, right? So I put one of my sunbonnet sues on here. And I left the pages in here. Now, to me, this is totally replaceable. You can put more paper in here. Just snip these out. It's just barely sewn in. You know how these things are. So I covered the inside part with some of my um, my favorite pages, background pages, papers. This is the green marbled one. Um, and I put a pocket, a gusseted pocket. Uh, I did make some notes. The pocket is seven and three quarters by four. Score half inch, half inch on the sides and the bottom. So there you go. Put that and that. Just pretty, right? So, now, someday when this gets taken out, I can put a cover on the inside, a little piece of fabric or whatever, and put a new signature in. It, it absolutely will work, guys. I know it will. <laughs> so, this one is our prototype, right? And we're going to make this one. Put this one to the side. So, this time I had a piece of fabric. This is what I'm going to use. You don't have to have fabric. You can absolutely use paper to do this. So, use what you have. I had this, so I'm going to use it. These are the background pages from um, Hometown Journal Kit. I thought they would go really well. I hope they will. If not, I'll change them up for something else. So... Um, you need something that'll be the matting pages for the inside and making the pockets, right? So this is the fabric that I chose. As I said, had it laying around, not doing nothing, time to put it to work. I think it's pretty. I've had it for an age and a day, <laughs> or maybe several more days. Yeah, I've had it a long time. So just get what you have. You can use, if you don't have anything, you can buy fat quarters. They really are handy for something like this. Okay, and then I just cut that out to be the size I needed it to cover this. And this is felt. <laughs> this is felt. I um, I generally buy this in bulk because I like to put this on uh, underneath when I put fabric on. It kind of gives you a buffer and you don't have, you know, wet glue marks or anything like that. I like doing this. Felt is cheap. Cheaper than batting. So that's what I use. Um, this and this. So from doing the first one, I learned that I'm going to have to put two of these together. To, um, hold on a second. Okay. Yep, it was the wrong number. But it was from back home where, you know, some of my kids live. So I'm like, you know, <clears throat> you have to answer those calls. And then laugh when somebody finds out they have the wrong number. So, anyways, back to where we were. Sorry about the disruption. I found out from the last one that we need uh, to put two of these together. Because one isn't enough to do the job. Now, I just want it up to the edge, right? Like so. If you can see, like so. Um, I want it to be just to the edge. And because this isn't going to, the felt is not going to fold over. That's my, that's my spiel on that. It's not going to fold over. So let me put this to the side. I hope I don't have a craft latch in a minute. Okay, so with me, I'm going to use double stick tape. You can put it together any which way you want. I just need a little bit of something, something. And I'll piece them together. And now... This is the ones that I got. A lot of these little notebooks are a lot of different sizes, okay? Just measure the one you get and do what you do. Um, if you use the felt, it, you may have to use two, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to show you this, and then I'll be going off camera to do a bunch of the taping and stuff like that, because I don't want this to get too long, and it's really simple, okay? 
So, let me see if I can get this to let go, you know. Let go. Nope, let me get my, it's nice to have one of these handy, you know. Now, when you're working with double stick tape and you've got fabric of any kind, including felt, sometimes it can take you a minute to get it to, you know, let go. <laughs> but it will. Um, and then that's all nice. So, let me see this. And I want to do, I'll try to get it in shot. I just want to lay this down just to where it's over that, like so. Not going to glue it. Not going to worry about anything being, you know, not the same. It's fine because it's all going to get cut anyways, right? Let me get my brayer because I want to give it a good press down. And then this is going to be, let me get the book out. Now remember, this is the one that was mucked up. I'm doing this one on camera on purpose so that if you have one that gets all mucked up or whatever, um, just you can cover, you can make a pretty thing out of something that got all, you know, messed up. So just saying, you can. So you want it to be right up to the edge as much as possible. See there? All right. Now I'm going to put this little thingy that I got to use. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get some stuff out of my way is what I'm gonna do. Cause this has got to fold around, right? And that's, that's an important thing. <laughs> it is, um, if you lay it flat down on the um, board, that's great, but flat, and then when it folds, that's different, okay? So let's go ahead and hold it real still. And then we're going to fold it over, holding it still. And flip it back. Because we want this to be with that, with that curve included, okay? It's it's a thing. <laughs> if you're if you're ever trying to do one of these and it kind of short sheets you, it's because you didn't fold it around you have to fold it around okay hopefully that made sense so I'm gonna just take this and trim right up there hopefully not on the you know this is I got this at the Dollar Tree pretty cool just says roller cutter um it works I've got a bigger one that's a Fiskars and I like it fine um but I thought I'd give this one, since we're doing Dollar Tree stuff, I thought I would give this one a roll. And it seems to be doing just fine, right? Okay, save the scraps. Now, on this part, yep, I know it's monkeyed up. You go. All right, now on this part, we're going to have to get it straight with itself because, yep. This end is the better one to go with the straight because we've got this, you know, hangover right here. So let's grab a ruler and get it straight. You just want to line it up. If you've got a grid uh, cutting mat, line it up on any one of them and give it a good roll. Cross through there. And, well, that one didn't come off so easy. Let's see what we can do. Press a little harder, right? Okay, now we've got that. Let's see where we are. <clears throat> okay, there, there, this one. And that's fine because remember, you don't want it to short sheet you. You leave that extra because when you take this and fold it over, um, <laughs> it uses that up. So, I'm going to take that little bit extra off right there. I kind of went, that was my problem. I went over some. So, let me get a straight line. And take that off. Mm -hmm. 
it doesn't have to be a rocket science kind of thing. You just you just want it a little bit straight-ish, right? So here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way, and I'm gonna take my big tape and I'm gonna tape this all up, and I'll come back and show you what's the next step. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, here we go again. So this time. I've got all my tape on here, as you can see from the glare. Um, and I'm going to roll it back just a little bit and get started. And then, you know, progress as we do. Okay? So, again, it's getting the backing off the tape. It, it gets to be the, the biggest little problem. It's not bad. Now, if you wanted to use um, a glue of some kind, you can use just about any glue, really. Um, but you would need to like brush it on this, okay? And then, uh, take it, uh, take the felt and put it on there. Um, I don't recommend using too much glue on the, finally on the um, fabric and once you use felt it's easy to just move along and not have gosh I stuck that back down and not have um, too much glue on the fabric that's what I'm trying to say it's hard to do something and talk at the same time I have these problems <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna pull it back to a certain place and Get this. Yeah. This part isn't um I don't know, it it just has to get done. It doesn't have to be uh doesn't have to be a, a big problem. Because you're gonna put the fabric over this and the fabric is going to be tacked down on the inside cover there you go and so that's that's why this doesn't you know it doesn't have to have a lot of i wouldn't use me personally i wouldn't do glue but you do you um and you can of course just paint it on I would use I don't know one of these like silicone brushes you can just you know get a good coating on there because felt is is a little bit well it's a little thick you know that kind of thing so what we're gonna do is open this up and start here on this side and get it to the edge right to the edge top and bottom you kind of want to be careful with it going askew on you you know okay so give it a press down any hangover we can take off later okay so we're gonna pull this one out now they get easy right <laughs> um, I said okay so we're gonna pull this out and lay this down press it down and Let's just get rid of these now and do that okay so like I said any hangovers we're just gonna cut it off because we don't want any hangovers okay there's a little wrinkle so I'm gonna press that out see if I can see if I can take it up a little it won't matter in the grand scheme of things but as much as possible try to get the wrinkles out okay all right that's all right so off camera I'm gonna go around and trim over the edges because I've got around my corners and stuff like that and then I'll come back and show you the next step okay we're back bright and shiny got the fabric got the tape on there and peeled it back you saw me do that with the other stuff. Now, with fabric, it's easier. And if you have a thick fabric, don't worry about the felt, you know? It's a thing. So, 
What I'm going to do now is try not to let anything with Murphy interfere with my crafting. But you want to give about an inch ish on all sides, right? Um, and then that gives you plenty of room to fold over and tuck in and all that kind of stuff, right? So we've got it down on that side. Let me give it a good press. Again, when you're cutting out your fabric for this, make sure when you lay your book down on it, whatever book you're using, that you fold it over. Do the wrap around and then do your trim out, okay? Because if you don't, you will be sorry. You'll be short sheeting yourself. Um, and that just gets, you know, aggravating and frustrating. <laughs> we don't want any of that in our crafting, right? So we're going to try to do this just holding this still and wrapping it around very carefully. Give it a good press. Isn't this going to be pretty? Gosh. Don't press that, you silly. Okay, so now it's going to be complicated on me. You just want to get it back to separated. And that's not too hard. It's just oh, when we do things, you know. I did say I wanted to keep Murphy out of this project, but, well, if it happens to you, this is what you do, right? <laughs> so, yeah, just take it back to that part. Take this back up to here. I mean, it is just tape. We can, we can handle this, right? <laughs> we can. I know we can. Okay. Yep, that tape holds real good. <laughs> okay, now, back to what we were doing, right? Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, what we're going to do now, get this over here, and... Okay, don't worry, it'll be fine. Okay, we're going to take our, our glue so that we get really good adhesion, <laughs> really good adhesion, um, and we're going to do our ends. Um, you just want some on there. Some of this is going to be... Um, well, all this on the edge is going to be covered, so it won't matter a whole lot, right? So we want to take it from the inside and just do us a little fold over, right? Like so. Go ahead and press that all the way down so that we've got good, good adhesion on there, right? Okay. Yep, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and get this end. Okay, there. Get this in too, because on the long sides, we're going to do... Now, if you get frustrated doing things like that, you can always do paper, and you can always do it a different way. This is just what... It's the way I like to do it. This got a little complicated because, you know, I'm on camera and uh, things like that happen. But you know what? Even when things get a little complicated, it doesn't matter. You just do what you do. And it all works out. Because whatever happens, you can always fix it. Right? Or that's what I think. You can always fix it. Okay? All right. Now we've got our ends. On this one, let me get my scissors and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to snip this right in the middle because I want this to fold up um, here. Yep. 
I may take just a touch off this. Just a little bit of an angle. Not a lot, just a little bit. See, just a tiny bit. Because I don't want it to get on the paper. But I want it to cover as far up as I can get it to, right? I'm going to take just a little off of this, too. And here we go. So, you want to glue the part that you stuck down, for sure. Hope I'm in camera. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> this is, it's just one of those things, and you just work with it. I like doing these. I like it when it works out, but the other one gave me no problems. I wasn't on camera. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, didn't have one single little glitch in that process. <laughs> go figure. Okay, so let's flip this over to the other side. Now, we've got, I mean, really, if you're on camera, you're just, you know, things are going to happen. Okay, now. Yep, things are going to happen if you're on camera. It's the way it works. Seriously. I want some glue on here. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I can get, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh. I want to take that, just a little bit of the bulk out of this. You don't have to do a whole lot. You don't even have to do it, actually. You can just leave it there and fold it up. But, yep. Let's get this on there. Okay. Yep. Now, all that's going to be covered up by the inside pieces that we're going to do. Uh, I may call this the disaster video. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, come on. But we have to do these things, right? And if it doesn't work out, that way I can show you how to fix it if it doesn't work out for you, right? <laughs> uh, because even if you've been doing this for, I don't know, 100 years, which is feels like what I've been doing, Things can happen, and you just, I don't know, fix it. And when you're, yeah, when you're on camera, I said it before, uh, things happen. And it just isn't the end of the world at all. It just, you just keep going and get it fixed, and then, then you have something pretty in the end, right? Okay, get this up here and this up here. Just pull it pretty taut when you're doing this. Um, fabric lays down really flat and good. If you're using paper, you might have to, um, I don't know, do a little bit of uh, pressing. Use your bone folder or use your... Um, brayer, that kind of thing, to um, get it pressed down, because you've got corners, and they can get bulky on you with paper, for sure, especially if you're using the, the cardstock, which is what I use, the lightweight cardstock, so it's best to just, you know, if you have some fabric, <laughs> Use that. It won't go as bad as it did for me, believe me. Off camera, I had not one problem <laughs> at all. It went so smooth, I was like, oh, that was quick. And, you know, stuff like that. Pull it taut, press it down, and there you go. That gives you a really good stick for that. So... I'm going to do the other one, too, just because. All right, now we've got that down and, you know, gotten rid of our disaster. <laughs> okay. Um, so what we're going to do next is put our, what I have to do with those? Put these in. Um, these are just going to sit right here like so. Um, I'm going to put them up as close as I can to this because it's a little bit, um, 
it's a little bit loose anyway, so you can put it right in there. Okay, so I'm going to put it really close. Pencil. And I'm going to put it to here. This is just me marking where I'm going to cut, and then I'll cut it and tape it and be right back, and we'll put them in. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> uh, now, I did ink this up a little bit with uh, Vintage Photo because I like it. And I like that um, very mild... Um, where's my doohickey? I like that very mild vintage look. I, I don't get into the grunge, but I sure do like the vintage. It's a thing. Yeah. Um... I think this little notebook is going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. Could be given as a gift. Could be given as a, you know, birthday present. Um, whatever someone would want to do with this. I mean, you've just jazzed the heck out of a, a Dollar Tree, <laughs> a Dollar Tree notebook. Um, cost a dollar twenty-five. That's about all it costs because everything else I already had. The paper, the fabric, the, you know. I mean, you could add a dollar, I guess, for paper, lace, fabric. It didn't cost much. But, oh, it's really pretty. Okay, so let's get this inside panel on. I'm going right close to the edge. I want the same sort of border all the way around. Right, so let's give that a roll, get it down really, really good. Just pretty, I think it is. I hope you guys like it, even if I did have a, a mild, slight disaster. <laughs> Look, we're crafters, we can fix stuff, that's what we do. We can solve problems, we can fix things, we can make it pretty. Kind of reminds me of that old, that old TV show, um, The Bionic Man, Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> you know, we can make it better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting silly now, so you guys might want to just, you know, beware. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I used to watch that show long ago. And the Bionic Woman, too. Yeah, they just called her Bionic Woman. They didn't call her $6 million. I think she cost more than that. I mean, girls do. <laughs> it's a thing, right? I want to make sure I got that pressed down really good. Okay, now this is our inside pocket. Where were my measurements at? Okay, if you want to do these. Now, I didn't do them to fit all the way up to the there. I gave myself about an inch off. So, you can do that or whatever you want to do. Um, and when this is getting refilled, you've got plenty of room to put like a piece of fabric in there to cover the inside. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so the measurements are seven and three quarters by four. Seven and three quarters by four. And that gives you a three and a half inch tall pocket because you're going to score both sides and the bottom at half an inch. So there you go. There's that. Now let's get this in here and see what a pretty thing we've got, right? <laughs> uh, I did go ahead and put the lace on um, prior to putting the pocket in because you can put lace on afterwards. That's, that's the thing. I've done it lots of times, especially when I forget to put it on beforehand. Um, but it's just easier <laughs> to put it on... Um, before so that you know <laughs> it's on there and you don't have to worry about trying to get your scissors in just right to do something um you just you know it's already there so yep <laughs> to me that's easier so let's do this get this in here get the gutter one done first because you know 
that's more complicated if you've got the other side already done down. Okay. Give that a good roll. Yep. Okay. Turn it this away so I can get to it. Ah, oh, it's so pretty though. Doing these, I've forgotten. Uh, I think doing this challenge has reminded me of a lot of things I used to do long ago. And and that's fun to go back and revisit. It's like revisiting an old friend, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So you just enjoy the journey. Give it a good roll. All right. Now we've got a really pretty notebook. Now, you can decorate that up or leave it as is because that's beautiful, right? Beautiful front and back. <laughs> and we've got our insides. I did this one off camera because, you know, seeing me do it once is enough probably. <laughs> Especially for this video getting so long. Okay, let me do this. Um, we've got two Dollar Tree notebooks made. And that was our day... Where's my pencil? That was our day... 35 done and it's pretty it's not just done it is so pretty and so nice and just awesome dude those are two beautiful gifts okay all right you guys take care i'm sorry if this is a little long i'll try to cut some of the the you know unnecessary stuff out <laughs> uh you guys take care please like and subscribe pretty please thanks for watching TTFN.